Jeffy's session got started, a 30-year friend of mine, well, not, I haven't known him for 30 years, I've only known him for like 20, but 30 years ago, he began reading a book once a year. Uh, recently, he mentioned that book to me. He said, I read this book once a year, and I just got through reading it again for the 30th time in 30 years. Now, I've known this guy really well for 20 years. He's never mentioned this book to me before. And so what happened was, uh, I began pondering it, and then I, I began, you'll, you'll read about this in, in the Monday Memo a week from now, but anxious anticipation, nervous trepidation, heart palpitation, and a tingling sensation are the smells and bells of adventure. Paul Tournier was a three-year-old orphan in Switzerland. When Teddy Roosevelt became president of the United States, Paul grew up to become a doctor. He did a lot of thinking, and he wrote a few books. Paul Tournier was nearly 70 when he wrote this book. Our actual lives rarely suffice to assuage our thirst for adventure. Fortunately, we can all supply the want by using our imaginations. The dullest and most humdrum life can be enlivened by imagined pleasures. Those who are lacking an imagination of their own can always use that of other people. There is no shortage of novels to read. The same mechanism of identification makes it possible in the cinema through the use of radio or television, or at a circus to procure cheaply the feeling of taking part in an adventure. This is the case too with sportsmen who come back from a football match proudly proclaiming, we won, although they personally have done nothing but applaud the winners. That the need for adventure lies behind the passion for gambling hardly needs mention. A habit that is quite as difficult to cure as gambling is that of drug taking in all its various forms. This too can be regarded as an expression of the instinct for adventure. Looked at in its best light, adultery may be seen to be, for many men, the only means of satisfying their craving for adventure. Wow. Now, that basic idea that adventure is this ongoing, unstoppable, inescapable, unscratchable itch. It's this need that we have throughout our lives and most of what we do when you contemplate it really is a search for that heart palpitation, trepidation, exhilaration, you know, it's that whole journey of adventure. 